Arsenal meet three of Vlahovic's transfer demands, but struggling with fourth. Arsenal can meet three of Dusan Vlahovic's demands, but they are falling short in one key area that is of utmost importance to the Fiorentina striker. The Gunners have identified the Serbian as their number one target in January as they look to add a new striker this month. The North Londoners are pushing for a move in this window to avoid a heavyweight tussle for the 21-year-old in the summer. Mikel Arteta's men tick a lot of the boxes and have reportedly tabled an opening offer for Vlahovic, but there is one sticking point. Money isn't the issue anyway. Arsenal's bid of pounds 50 million, plus Lucas Torreira who is currently on loan at Fiorentina, meets the Serie A club's valuation of the player. Have your say. Should Arsenal go all out for Dusan Vlahovic? Comment here. The Emirates club have also put aside £8 million for Vlahovic's agent something that has put other clubs off. On top of that, Arsenal are willing to offer Vlahovic a £300,000 per week wage that he is looking for with his next club. The one thing sporting director Edu cannot guarantee is success. Vlahovic wants to be playing for a team that is regularly in the Champions League and, although Arsenal are currently inside the top four, it's not a given they will finish there, especially when you factor in their eighth-place finish last term. Ian Wright has urged his former club to get a deal for Val Havik over the finish line. Arsenal have done fantastic business up until this point, Wright said on the Kelly and Wrighty show. I believe they do need to get another striker, even if everything can be sorted with Aubameyang. I'm hearing Vlahovic from Fiorentina. We need that player who can be between Lacazette and Aubameyang. I don't know what's happening with Laka, I'd love him to stay, I don't know what's happening with him, and we don't know what's happening with Aubameyang. But if we can get that striker, that hard-running striker who is good at the link-up play and is a good finisher, which Lahavik is, then you're starting to think it's starting to happen now for Arsenal. Nigel Winterburn also reckons Lahavik would be a shrewd acquisition as he could provide something different for the Gunners. We're being linked with a lot of young strikers, but I do like Vlahovic from Fiorentina because he looks like he can offer something different, ex-Arsenal fullback Winterburn told Paddy Power. He scores all sorts of goals. He takes penalties, he scores from close range and from the edge of the box. He's left-footed and looks powerful and strong. There seems to be a big push from Arsenal and he's the one name that keeps coming.